Hello everyone, you're welcome to my channel Jam Vibes. Senzo Meiwa's childhood friend, otherwise popularly known as his best friend to Melo Madladla, has decided to challenge Kelly Kumalo's account of the footballer's death simply because of the fact that he doesn't agree with so many things that Kelly Kumalo has and the media is definitely taking a whole different turn on this, mainly because of the fact that Kelly Kumalo has been dragged and finger pointed for hiding some pertinent information about Senzo's departure from this world. Before I give you all the entire details, kindly follow Jam Vibes, like this video, and drop a comment after watching the entire video. Senzo Meiwa's childhood friend Tumelo has decided to spill the beans. A childhood friend of Senzo Meiwa Tumelo has raised doubt about the statements provided by Kelly Kumalo following the footballer's tragic departure from this world. Kelly Kumalo, who was dating Senzo Meiwa at the time his life was claimed in 2014, gave a detailed account to the police, which Matt Ladla has strongly criticized. Tumelo, who testified in court sometime last week, disputed Kelly Kumalo's version of events, particularly her description of gushing blood from Meiwa. According to Tumelo, there was only a small amount of blood on Meiwa's chest, contradicting everything that Kelly Kumalo actually definitely spewed out in one of her statements. Defense lawyer Zitulele Kumalo read Kelly Kumalo's statements to highlight the disparities between her testimony and Tumelo Madladla's account of events, and this actually splits the court into two, left everyone in doubt who is finally saying the truth between Tumelo and Kelly Kumalo. Guys, but mainly because of the fact that Kelly Kumalo is definitely not so liked on the socials, many believe Tumelo's version of events. Expressing his disbelief, Tumelo called for Kelly Kumalo to appear in court and clarify her statement. He stated that he does not recall seeing the significant amount of blood described by Kumalo, emphasizing that he only saw spots of blood, not large quantities. According to Kaya 959, Tumelo expressed his desire for Kelly Kumalo's statement to be dismissed and for her to provide an explanation for the discrepancies. It was said in the exact words, and I quote, I want her to come to court and explain for herself. I don't remember seeing blood gushing out like she says she saw. I saw spots of blood, not gallons. I want these statements to be set aside and uh, for the author of the statements to come to court and explain the nonsense that's written here. In the ongoing trial surrounding Senzo Meiwa's departure from this world, Tumelo's testimony has cast doubt on the accuracy of Kelly Kumalo's statement, hence many just believe that it is actually confirming and affirming that Kelly Kumalo has something to hide and missed everything that concerns Senzo Meiwa's departure from this world. The conflicting accounts and allegations of over-embellishment have added another layer of complexity to the case, raising questions about the events that unfolded on that fateful day in 2014. Kelly Kumalo has been cancelled from so many shows already because of the fact that her name has been involved in the Senzo Meiwa's case one more time, and this time around, it has actually been involved in a negative way. Firstly, it was revealed at some point that Kelly Kumalo had some contact with accused number five, one of the accused who is definitely being finger pointed already for claiming the life of Senzo Meiwa allegedly. Also, apparently there was a SIM swap. So, Colonel Albertus actually reveals that the only possibility for a SIM swap is for, for somebody to make a SIM swap with Senzo's, you know, SIM card. Is definitely only somebody who has Senzo's identification documents. And back in the days, it is revealed by, I think it's Ndogo and, and Tumelo that Kelly Kumalo did not immediately give Senzo Meiwa's ID to the family as, you know, instructed, but she gave it the next day, and which was enough time already for something to be done. And I'm more or less like, yo, guys, so many things are so not right already in the census case. But then again, do you all expect me to judge? I will not judge. I want you all to tell me in the comment section how you feel without necessarily judging about everything that is ongoing already, and hopefully the court takes its due course. I love you from the bottom of my heart, and do all to take good care of yourselves.